Hey Premiere Pros, it's Paul Murphy here and today I'm going to show you a smarter way to resize your photos in Premiere Pro. Okay, so I have some photos imported into my project here that are all different sizes. And what I want to do is add them all to my timeline, so I'll press Command A and then I'll press the period key to add them to my timeline. And if you look at this, you can see that they're all a higher resolution than my sequence. So I'm going to need to resize these images. And the most common way to do that in Premiere Pro is to select all of your images, right click any one of them and choose set to frame size. But as you can see, this has now added black bars to all of my images because they have a different aspect ratio than my sequence. So it's not so much that I want to scale these images so that they fit inside my sequence, it's more that I want to scale them to fill my sequence. And there is a handy effect that will do that for us. So I'm gonna go up to my effects panel and I'm gonna do a search on auto reframe. And here's the effect here. This effect is most commonly used to resize sequences to other sizes. So for example, if you have a 16.9 widescreen sequence, you would use auto reframe to change it to a one by one square sequence. But what I'm gonna do is just select all of my photos in the timeline and then drag this effect onto those photos. And you can see in an instant, it has resized those photos to fill the frame. So let's take a closer look at what's happening here. I'm just going to select my first clip and go over to my effect controls. And the first thing I notice is that my motion settings have been disabled. So this is where I would usually set my scale and my position. And down here, I have the auto reframe effect. If I toggle this off, we can see what the original image looked like. And you can see that it hasn't just scaled to the center of the image, it's actually scaled to the girl's face. And this is the great thing about working with auto reframe is it actually uses artificial intelligence to analyze the image and determine what is the area of interest. And it actually does a really good job at figuring out what that area of interest is. But if you're not happy with it, so for example, with this image here, I think I would like to see a little bit more of the house in the cropping. All I would need to do is select the image, go over to my effect controls, and then I can adjust the scaling a bit more and adjust the offset as well to get a bit more of that house into the frame. But what if what you wanted to do was to animate the scale and position after it's been resized? So what we would call the Ken Burns effect. Well, it's not immediately obvious. If I select the clip and go up to the motion settings, of course, these are disabled and I would usually use these to do that animation. And if I go down to the auto reframe effect, I can't actually add keyframes to reframe offset or reframe scale. So what I need to do is go over to my effects panel and do a search on the transform effect and then I'll drag this under the auto reframe effect. And now what I can do is add a keyframe for position and add a keyframe for scale. I'm gonna to jump to the last frame of this clip by pressing shift end, and then I'll scale up and reposition so that the girl's face is in frame. And you can see we're still working with the image's original resolution, so we haven't lost any quality here. And we have a nice animation that looks like this. And there you have it, a smarter way to resize your photos and animate them inside of Premiere Pro. I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.